Back to work, back to school, but not back to normal. France emerging slowly from its two-month lockdown. Some shops reopening, a lift for the embattled retail industry, but no joy yet for the hospitality sector. Bars, cafes and restaurants closed nationwide until at least the end of May. For people who cannot work from home, the return of the Monday morning commute. Masks being handed out by station staff. But not everyone was happy with the new rules. I had to queue this morning for my train, and some people on the train didn't have a mask. There is no distribution of masks in the Paris suburbs like there is in the center. There are lots of commuters, so social distancing isn't respected. Before we were told, no mask, no problem, but now we have to wear one. It's stupid. We should have had masks since the beginning. I think the government is incompetent. And though the lockdown is easing, new measures are actually coming into force. Wearing masks is now compulsory on public transport, the buses, the trams and the trains such as here on the Paris Metro. There are also social distancing measures put in place to remind people not to sit too closely to one another and stickers on the floor for those standing to make sure they also maintain a safe distance. Government ministers urging caution, doing their best to exemplify safe distancing and underlining that the relaxed measures could be reimposed if the situation deteriorates. If the virus were to resume its wild rush, with a lack of control and a risk to French people's health, we would again take lockdown measures by zone, differentiated, as we had done in the beginning, and see if the population is in danger. A new working culture will be put in place. People still encouraged to work from home, but offices getting ready for returning employees. Life after lockdown looking very different but France taking its first steps, one eye on the future, but also watching carefully to ensure no second wave of infections. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Paris.